This is Twit. Bandwidth for Know How is brought to you by Cashfly. This episode of Know How is brought to you by iFixit. You've seen their teardowns all over the internet, the free repair guide for everything, and the ultimate marketplace for electronic tools and parts. For $5 off your purchase of $10 or more, go to iFixit.com slash twit and enter the code KNOWHOW at checkout. Today on Know How, comic cosplay. Make it so. Know how it's a Twitch show where we build, bend, break, and accessorize. I'm Father Robert Ballas here. I'm Brian Burnett. And we're joined by, you may have noticed, Mr. Patrick Delahanty. Patrick, thank you for coming on, the occasional host of Know How. It's great to be back, and it's great to have Brian with me this time on the show. Yes. Yeah, now, people will notice. <laughs> Usually, you, I refuse to be on the show if Patrick's on the set. Well, yeah. it, diva. Diva. We've put some differences. Yes, we, yes, yeah. because Patrick is so hard to get along with. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you know, yeah. his writers, like green, green M&Ms, no dust on the set, it's very strange. Well, but if you look at the, uh, very closely at the know-how background that we have during our regular shows, you may notice that there's actually three faces, and one belongs to this man. Oh, the chalkboard, yeah. yeah. You don't have that I think right your now. wife put that there, didn't she? No, Greg did. Greg oh, did. Greg did? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Patrick, we brought you back because we've been having a series of episodes about this. We built the version 2 of our steampunk goggles, which are you know really cyberpunk. It was it's just something that yeah. we like doing. They're they're fun, they're easy to make, but we wanted to go a little deeper. And anytime you go deeper into something for say a Comic Con or like the Silicon Valley event that we're gonna have here, or even if you're doing something like DEF CON where you you want something a little stand out ish. Yeah. It's not all Arduino's wiring and 3D printing. You actually need to start working on real costuming. And real costuming involves Sewing. Yes, and so it's unavoidable. You're gonna have to sew Make something. Make it so. Yes, yeah, I get, get it. Yeah. I get it's, it now. It's hitting you. It's <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna need to tie it all together usually and create something unique using fabric. This has always been uh, a serious deficiency in my fun. In my makery and fun, well, because you're I, a 3D printer guy, you're a programming guy. I can do electronics. LEDs. I can, yeah, I can uh, manufacture. I can fabricate. But when yeah. it comes to cloth, uh, about as good as I could do is like two pieces of cloth duct taped together. That's that's yeah. like oh, my duct skill. tape. See, I used to be at that level too, but, uh, and then I just learned how to do this, and it's a lot easier than I thought at first. It was so intimidating, but then I learned and. Yeah, you know, do stuff. Uh, two years ago when Brian and I were at DEF CON together, there was a woman who was working on like a top, and she was sewing WS2812 LEDs into that top with, uh, with conductive thread. Yeah. And I was thinking, that's, that's awesome. I'd, I'd love to do that, but I just, uh, I don't know how to sew. I, the few times I've tried it, it's just been to like repair something emergency because I need to use it right away. Yeah. It's just, I've never made it look right. You've actually built up the skill to build decent stuff. How do you do that? Uh, just practice, practice, practice. Mm. Buy cheap fabric, sew it together, and, and keep working on it. And nobody's an amazing uh, seam, uh, seam uh, tailor. Seamstress. Tailor, seamstress. Tailor, yeah. Seamstress. Or okay. seamstress, whatever. Nobody's amazing their first time out. And so you've just got like a thousand bad iterations in front of you that you have to get through before you can do something great. All right, so. now let's, let's jump into this. Uh, if, if we're talking sewing, obviously you've got a sewing machine. You're not yes. talking about just a needle and thread that's yeah, probably not I mean, going to do you so good. You could do a needle and thread. You could do it by hand, and it's going to take forever, and it's going to be painful and <laughs> not fun. Yeah. But this using machine, whether you get one yourself, they can run uh, from 100 bucks for a cheap one, which is probably going to break, to a few hundred bucks for a decent one. And what is this, a decent one? This is a pretty decent one. And how yeah. much is this one? Uh, I think it was 250 bucks. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. it, would you recommend this for like someone just starting out? Uh, or practicing? I, I'd recommend if you have a friend that has one, have them show you how to use it and try it on theirs. Just right. to 
to see if it's something you really want to invest in. Before you like sew yeah. yourself to the machine? Yes. Uh, Which maybe I've done. That's but why I don't use them. Did you have a scary incident? My, my mom had, she had like one of the old cast iron sewing machines that actually had the big oh, wheel yeah. so that you could like manually advance or push back. Yeah. Whoa. And um, I was doing it, I sewed right through the, oh. the webbing of my foot. Yeah, that's what I'm always You do that of. once and you go, no. Never again. Mm -mm. No, I'd rather burn myself with soldering iron. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Which is why uh, last year at CES, there was a company that wanted me to review their sewing machine. They had a sewing machine that you could load patterns into. Oh. And it would it would automatically stitch the oh, pattern. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was kind of cool. But I'm like, There's, I'm never gonna like use that. Like a 3D printer esque sewing machine. More like more some, 2D. But yeah, 2D. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. like you probably go to the mall and you see the places that can embroider the names <laughs> and everything. That's 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 what it is. That's, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. All right, so when I'm sewing with needle on thread, basically, I, I know I do it wrong. I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I know that's yeah. a lazy stitch because if it ever breaks, it means the entire thing yeah. falls apart. How does a sewing machine actually work? Uh, I actually have, I found a video from the New England Rubbish Destruction Society, nerds. Uh, they were the first US team on Scrap Heap Challenge, uh, known as Junkyard Wars here in the US. Okay, yeah, yeah. And their audition video that they sent in was demonstrating how, to, how a sewing machine works. And they built a giant version using uh, plywood and dowels and using um, Cat5 cable as thread. <laughs> and so we have a video that has them demonstrating how the sewing, mach sewing the machine works. I push the thread through the fabric. I'm the hook. I catch the thread once it's below the plate and loop it around the bobbin. I'm the bobbin carrier. All I do is sit here and hold the bobbin and let the loop go around me. And I'm also the tension arm. I pull the excess thread back up after the stitch gets formed by the bobbin. Here's how it works. First, the needle gets plunged through the fabric. The hook grabs and forms a loop. Bobbin carrier allows the loop around. And then the tension oh. arm pulls the thread back up. It's forming a stitch. So it makes a knot every time and it goes down and up. Pretty much. I didn't, yeah. okay. I There's didn't know two that. threads, the one held the by the bobbin and yeah. one Plunge. coming from the needle. And it locks them together. So even if you if you break this thread at some point in the in the seam, it, 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 it won't unravel as quickly as if it was just a single up and down. It, it can unravel because it's not a knot, but it, it not as quickly because there's two that are intertwined. Okay, I like that. All right, so so on your machine, uh, yes. show us a little bit how this how this is working. There's now, a uh, little I, men I inside, right? Well, we, that are doing this. The <laughs> nerds, the nerds are down below here, and every time yeah. this needle goes down with down. the thread, it, so it, it takes down. the thread off the takes, needle. Yep puts it around the bobbin, which is down here, and then pulls it back up and advances the fabric, and then it repeats. <laughs> okay, but, but uh, it's gonna do that many times a second. Yeah, it's gonna do it real fast. Uh, now, I should probably go over some of the terms. Yeah, cause, okay, yeah, because I got the sewing thing yeah. with the pointy thing and the thread thing. The, the, I'm the pretty sure thing. that's not what they're yeah. called. I mean, obviously we've got the needle here and thread. Needle and thread, All everybody right, knows basics. that. Yes, this part so, I know, I know these. Uh, so we've got the spool, and we put the spool up here on the top of the machine. So it's there. Uh, now there's some machines have a needle threader, which is great because you can just put the thread in that and it will put it through the needle. Mine doesn't have that. So I have to get down there and eyeball it and try to get yeah, this the, thread the that through that I tiny little hole. Do you, do you lick it too? Do you lick it so yeah. you can make, make you it lick good Because you have to have it pointy yeah. and go through it. And usually I'll cut the end of the thread. So if it's, right, so it's, it's frayed, frayed, if it's yeah, frayed okay. it helps it get through there. Um, we've got the bobbin, which uh, I've got one here. What's, so what's this, a bobbin? This is a bobbin. It's uh, essentially like a spool. It's a tiny spool, and this goes down. I'll remove the bobbin cover here. This goes inside the machine down here, and as we saw in the the nerds video, this is what the thread goes around. Okay, so it can knot itself. Yeah, and so oh. we'll wind this, and it will have. Uh, some of the same thread that we have here on the on the original spool. So okay, so you actually need two spools of, of thread. Well, I need one spool, but we uh, will actually, and I'll show you how to do this. We'll does that we'll wind the do bobbin. I have to do it automatically, or it, it does it automatically? It does. I can okay. show how to do that. Uh, and then we've got uh, we've got these little things down here. These are 
it's hard, they're hard to see. They're little grooved things. They're called feed dogs, huh. and they move the fabric. Oh, so after I was it's wondering done the stitch, about that because it. I mean, if it's at a constant rate, yeah. you ha if you move too slowly, you, it stitches the same yeah. spot. That you move sense. too fast, it stretches it out. Yeah. So some of the ancient sewing machines, you'd have to move it yourself, but this that has it at yeah. the that's right why pace. I, that's why I, mean, I sewed my finger. I'll hold it down to keep it flat and to, to help it go and to guide it. But you don't have to push you know, too get it going straight. Anything. But yeah, I don't. I just make just sure it's, it. I control the direction, but yeah. this moves it. Okay. Okay, so cool. you're not, yeah, you're not really yeah. pushing. You're kind of holding it against that. That uh, what do they call that again? The uh, dog the, the feed dogs. Feed, feed dogs. dogs. Uh, and then here, doge. feed doge. Feed the doge. doge. Okay. And then here, right above it, is the presser foot, and so that keeps the fabric pressed down onto the feed dogs. Okay. Oh. See, I originally thought that that was the thing that kept your finger from going under the needle, <laughs> which I, I learned doesn't oh. doesn't do that. At all. The new ones actually sense moisture and will stop before so. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start with me. Because I go will try, and try and go, it. No, that didn't work. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, and then over here on the side, we've got this uh, the hand wheel, which just manually oh, moves it. Okay. So you can do precise movements. So, if, yeah, so going, if you're coming to one of those difficult parts in the <laughs> stitch, you can, you can just manually do it. Yeah, and so ah. it'll it, do it at a slow rate that you can control with your hand, rather than uh, pressing on the foot pedal, which is down here on the floor. I'll hold it up. Uh, this is what I put my foot on, and this is an accelerator. Oh. So this can, and it's sensitive to the pressure, so I can make it really go or go just slowly. Nice. I, I have a feeling I would not be good at this because I'd always want to go fast. You have a lead yeah. foot, yeah. <laughs> And so you can do different sewing patterns and stuff like that too, or different stitching? Uh, yeah, there are different That's stitch options cool. on this machine. Uh, there's uh, 49, or actually 50 different options, and they're all, I can ah. set it to do different zigzag stitches are, or all sorts of fancy things. There's even buttonholes I could sew. Huh, are there any more like advantageous for the kind of cosplay stuff that you do, or? Uh, normally you just want to use a normal stitch, but right. if you're using some fabric that's stretchy, you may want to use a zigzag stitch, oh. so when it stretches, the seam stretches out. I was, yeah, okay, I was wondering about that because I've sometimes I've tried to sew together dissimilar materials, oh, and they always break right at the seam. So that yeah, would be a it, zigzag. Yeah, right? if you're trying to do something stretchy and something that's not that doesn't have any that give, that can be difficult. But uh, uh, you know, if you're doing stretchy stuff, you need to put some sort of zigzag in there. Cool. Um, so then we've also got, uh, there's a reverse button, and that will make it so when I press the foot, uh, it goes in reverse. It's actually this button right So right does here. that make it undo the stitching that you just did? No, yeah. it, it sews it backwards, so it starts moving oh, the fabric so, back. So if there's a part that I think is going to need some extra, extra stitching. Strength. Yes, strength. Yeah. and I actually do that at the end of my stitches to you kind of on lock it. it. Oh, that makes sense. So I, I just sew back over itself, and then I go back, and so it, it makes kind of a knot. Uh, if someone was going to get into this, what what's the minimum that they need? So uh, obviously we're saying thread and needle is not going to cut it. You're going to want yourself some sort of machine. Yeah, I mean, a, a thread and needle, if you're just repairing a, a hole or something, it's fine. But if you're making a costume, you're going to need to have a machine. So maybe borrow somebody's at first, and then you know pick up a machine when it's on sale or there's a discount. But I mean, how? But if I was looking at buying something, how do I tell the difference between a decent machine and junk? Or is is it just something I can look at the reviews? Yeah, look at reviews. Talk to people who've used it, uh, and there's plenty of communities out there for cosplay it's or just not people that sew. Probably one of the so. units I see on late night television. They may do something <laughs> yeah. dramatic or something. Yeah. It's okay, only four easy payments of thirty nine ninety five. Yeah, and you know, if you go into Walmart and you see the cheapest one there, it's, it's probably, probably not the best. The cheapest one there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get what you pay for. Okay. But you also don't need to pay a lot because you don't need something that does like all the automatic. I probably stuff. don't need an internet connected sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always listening. Machines, <laughs> sew now. Uh, like so it gives we... you a grade and uploads it to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I scored 89 on my latest stitch. Uh, and then we've got this tool. Uh, Do you know what this phone. is? I, I seen this. I used to just poke my brother with it. But. <laughs> I think it's, it they, probably wait, has a proper don't name. Don't they use right? this in like needlecraft? I don't know. I don't know. Right, what do you use it for, Patrick? It's a seam ripper. Oh. So if you mess up, I mean, when you mess up, yeah. you have to go and it cuts all of the thread. 
so you, that you can can't I just pull do it all like apart? Scissors? And then you cut the fabric. It's hard too, to right? get the scissors down in there. That's oh, got that okay. fine point, and it's got a little blade on the inside, so you just have to go through and it, and you will mess up. You'll do a seam, and you'll realize, oh, I did it inside out. And you have to rip everything out and oh, do that's it over. Sharp. Ooh, that's really What's sharp. wrong with doing it inside out in fabric? Like, well, if, like if you're doing a shirt, one sleeve has the seam on the outside, oh, one is yeah. inside. You don't. Yeah, so I didn't you have to. Even think of that. So when you everybody's done that, or well, I guess you'll show us how you uh, sew fabric yeah. together. But all right, so let's let's do this. You, you got to start showing us how this actually yes. works. You got me curious. All right. Uh, all right. So. Uh, when you're when you're doing uh, uh, when you're making something, you want to you need a pattern. You need something to follow, and uh, so you can find a lot of patterns online. You can find them at uh, Joanne Fabric or any fabric store, and so you need something to use as a basis for your for what you're making. And so it helps to follow a pattern. And a lot of the patterns that you can buy, they'll come with. Uh, guidelines for how much fabric you need. So it'll say, oh, you need five yards of this, one yard of this, and et cetera. And you can buy the fabric in uh, quarter yard lengths, so quarter, half, three quarters a yard, five yards, whatever. Uh, if you're using expensive fabric, I recommend getting some of this too. It's called muslin, not muslin. No, no, I've seen, actually, I yeah. use this. This is the material yeah. I this, have this is for my background. like right. under a dollar a yard. And so it's, it's not the highest grade stuff. It's, it's terrible stuff. Yeah. You don't want to use this in a final thing, but it's really good to make your own patterns with. Practice. Yeah, so practice. If, rather than taking some $10 a yard fabric yeah. and messing that up and have to go buy more, use this and experiment with this and try it. And you could pin it together and try it on <laughs> and then see if it fits before going to the expensive stuff. Okay. And also, you, once you try it on, if it works, you can pull it apart yeah. and use that as the pattern for the expense. Ah, okay, so with this pattern, idea. what are we going to make? Uh, so I figure for this, we'll do something just really simple. We're going to make a bag. A bag. Yep, just so a little bag. So that's like three seams and you've got a bag. Or, or a really satchel. Do. Set. You can really do it with just two seams if you take one piece of fabric and fold it. Oh, yeah. That's math, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, obviously, Patrick has done this project before. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get to the bag in just a bit. But first, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these messages. We'll be back to know-how in a bit. But first, let's go ahead and take a moment to thank a sponsor of this episode of know-how. And of course... It's got to be iFixit. Now, you've seen Brian and I use iFixit over the years. It's the tools that we prefer because we like to do things right. We all know that horrible, horrible feeling of doing the wrong thing with the wrong tool, using a, a straight-edge screwdriver so that you could pry open a case, leaving a couple of scuff marks, a couple of things that you can't fix later on. Well, folks, don't do that anymore. Use the right tools for each job. Do it the right way. Do it the iFixit way. Now, iFixit has more than 22,000 free repair guides and 90,000 troubleshooting solutions. The good people at iFixit are experts in consumer electronics repair. You've seen their teardowns. You know that they understand what they're doing, and they design their toolkits to support that kind of work. iFixit provides all the repair knowledge that you need for free. They also sell a wide array of parts and tools to help you get the job done right and done quickly. They know what they're doing, so they want you to have the same tools that they have. That's the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit. It's a completely reimagined design. It's just as rugged and portable as before, but they've taken your feedback and they've integrated it into the solution. Now, their kit shows an obsession with details, things like a durable canvas case, a hand-selected high-quality steel bit collection, custom anodized aluminum driver handle, and they thought of everything. So you only have to worry about the fix and not the tools that you're using. It includes their 64-bit driver kit, precision ESD-safe tweezers, including a pair of reverse tweezers, a wide variety of plastic opening tools and picks to safely work on tablets and smartphones without destroying the case or the screen, as well as things like suc suction cups for display assembly removal, a metal spudger, and iFixit's own rubber-handed Jimmy Pry tool. The ProTech Toolkit is the last precision toolkit that you'll ever need, and that's why they've given it a lifetime guarantee. Folks... The people at iFixit never stop repairing. And with this toolkit under your belt, you won't either. Head over to iFixit.com slash twit and use the code knowhow at checkout to save $5 on your purchase of $10 or more. 
Even if you don't buy anything, you can still use their free repair guides, troubleshooting answer forms, and other educational resources on their website anytime your tech has an accident. That's ifixit.com slash twit. ifixit.com slash twit. And we thank iFixit for their support of know-how. And we're back. Okay, so the sewing machine is off the table because we don't need it right now, right? Yes, we're cutting fabric. We have to cut fabric. And, and I think this, this is like many of the projects, you make the project so much easier to do if you actually plan what you're going to do before you start cutting. <laughs> no, just start. Don't <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Which I'm guilty of all the time. I, I've you know, done projects where I, I grab all the pieces and you just start working on it. I'm like, you know what? I could have eliminated steps 15 through 40. Isn't it cut once, measure three or four or 15 times? Yeah, or cut, keep that's just cut once, <laughs> measure, cut. cut once, then measure, then cut again, and then, then cut again. And then, measure, then just keep then, cutting yeah. and cutting. And yeah. then go to the store and buy more stuff more because fabric, you yeah. cut everything. And, no, so in this case, you're taking the, this is not the muslin, this is what? This is, uh, I'm not even sure what kind of fabric this is. I used it for my Amman costume, which okay. was on an episode that's of right. Know How like that, two actually, years that ago. That was really good. That was a great costume. Thank so you. you sewed all that. I made all of that. Okay. Nice. All right. So uh, now, what do you need to do? So I have material. I see that it's already been cut on a little bit. Yeah. What, what are you actually going to be measuring out here? Uh, well, how big do we want this bag? What kind of, like, do you want a, a f one foot by one foot? or? I, I don't think too big. How big let's, bag we let's well, speak like a I kind of want a purse, you know, I'm just okay, throw my cell little. phone in there. So a hippo bag. Hippo bag. Okay. So well, let's make a hippo bag. Well, <laughs> let's say we want it uh, 12 inches wide. Okay. Yeah, so let's, 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 let's make it simple. Is, 12 by 12. 12 by 12. So when okay. you fold it over, it'll be 6 inches by Yeah, six so inches. so we're going to have this fold over, so it'll be 24 inches. Oh, okay. Because okay. we want okay. it doubled up. Got it, got it. And then 12 inches wide. So hmm. um, if I was doing uh, a shirt or pants or something, I could have a pattern, and I'd lay it out on top of here, and I would... Uh, trace the outline. That's always that like really thin paper, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's like tracing that. paper. My, my mom used to do it's that. It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. I mean, I've also done printouts on my computer, taped the paper together, and it doesn't matter what kind of paper it is. Okay. But um, so when you trace the pattern, you can use like just a pencil if it's light fabric, because that'll wash out, or um, just you know. Something like that. Or but a permanent marker? You can, no. I, I have on muslin, <laughs> I've, used permanent, I've used a Sharpie because it's easy and I don't care about the muslin. Yeah. It's just a test pattern anyway. On fabric like this, what I used when I did my Amman, I used this. It's chalk. Oh. And so I can make my pattern and know where to cut. I can put my cut lines using this. Cool. Uh, so we want 12 inches. I'll measure that here. 12. Do-de-do. By 24. I see. 24. It's a big bag. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come that. all the way down. Uh, 24. Right. 24. Oh, I'm going to be able to put my laptop in there. Yeah, maybe. iPads? Switch. Put your switch in there. Is this 12? Oh, no. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. That's a little, it's a little curved. Yeah, it's a little thin. But you know what? This is, that's close enough for Noah. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing it quick and dirty. <laughs> now, uh, when I sew this together, I need some space on the edge. Uh, for the seam. F yeah, for the seam. So we leave what's called a seam allowance. And how long, much is a seam uh, allowance? It, it depends if you want finished seams or if you just want to have loose seams. So it depends that on means, how good you are. Yeah, if, <laughs> if you have like the exposed stuff like this, that's unfinished but seam. We're going to invert just sew this, it together. right? So the seams are actually going to be the inside yeah. of the bag. So okay. it doesn't. So we yeah. don't need to make it look nice. But if you're having some seams that might be exposed, you probably want to do a finished seam. You just wrap it over and hmm. then sew it. So yeah, that's you just fold it over on out. yourself. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just do... Again, remember, mine would be made with cloth and duct tape. So exactly. this is a definite step up. All right. <laughs> uh, so we can just give it like, you know, half inch to an inch extra. A little border. Just, yeah, a little border. Hey, it Sometimes I don't even bother yeah. doing this. I just know to cut... That's just how good he is. Now. I, I yeah. would need to leave like six inches of seam. <laughs> I've no one would be messing up. I've, but I've all. <laughs> there's always a chance I forget to leave the seam allowance, and I've done that so many times. I cut it and then realize, don't. 
Oh, so my it's God. a little smaller than you wanted. That's yeah. fine. You know, sometimes it works out. Sometimes I can work around it. Uh, so these are my nice fabric scissors. Okay, only used I on noticed. I noticed you keep them in a special carrier. Yeah. That that yeah, tells people do not use this to cut anything yes. else. Yes, and I've told my wife don't use these for paper. What? Don't cut duct tape with these. <laughs> they get all gummed up. Cutting flowers. I have the same thing for uh, my my fiber shears. Yeah, you have. Uh, because that's what they're designed for. You cut anything else and you destroy them. But oh, they cut so nice. <laughs> How much do these cost? Uh, they were actually a gift, so I'm not sure. Oh, right. I, I That's guess, the best way to get into sewing. I guess 10, 20 bucks. I don't okay. know. They, they look nice. From a fellow cosplayer. I bet I could cut wire really well with that. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> you Maybe could. even fiber. I don't think you should. <laughs> and also, it's great to bring to conventions because there's a bottle opener. <laughs> yes. Wow. Why well, uh, so this is, this is reaching out to a particular... Uh, part of the seamstress right. industry. That's probably not meant as a bottle opener, but... That's what it's but been it's used a bottle for. Opener. Could be, yeah. The more you use it while sewing, though, the worse your uh, project gets. Right, let me just... Now, this is not going to have any really tricky curves because it's a no. bag, it's straight up, but yep. if I did need to make a curve, like it's a costume, so it's, it's going over a joint, yeah. how do I just leave extra material? Or I mean, because I don't know how to do something when it's going to be moving. Yeah. Yeah, that... Uh, curves can be tough because the machine wants to sew in a straight line. Yeah, and so if you're and if you're doing fabric on something that is round. Yeah. Uh, like you're most gonna of me. Yeah, you're gonna have to, <laughs> you know, put. Darts. We're gonna need a special There's a lot sewing of machine here, for you. <laughs> you're gonna have to put like darts in or. It, Wait, darts. Cut. It's a dart. It's like uh, in you. Like a pleat. Kind of like when you have. Something like this, like oh, yeah, so it's, a, it's an allowance of material for the yeah. movement. Yeah, and then you'd sew it here so that you have half of it, and it kind of I curves. Uh, um, now let's make a bag. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but that's why I say find a pattern for what you want to do. And like if you're doing cosplay, you may not find a pattern for the particular character, but you might find something similar that you can <laughs> modify. And then... I want that. Okay, you can have Thank that. Thank you. It's all yours. <laughs> He's like, I want my tea. I'm going to sew. Uh, but you can get something similar that you can modify or get, like, maybe the top from one pattern and the pants from something else or what... Right. You know, and they have all sorts of fantasy costumes, robes. So if you want to do Jedi... Actually, Jedi's easy. Jedi is so many out. people have done... Here's, here's a problem, though, what you're going to have anytime you're doing some sort of uh, cosplay based on a popular character, which is you can do a lot of things in animation that don't actually work in the real world. You yes. know, those, the shirts don't actually stand up the way that they do in Dragon Ball. <laughs> I've Ball's. already finished my cosplay costume. Uh, cranky Ninja. Here. <laughs> you, there you go. And so Sweet. Fold it over in itself and we'll pin it so it stays in place. Oh, uh, okay. Steam Ninja. Steam Ninja. You look cool now. Boy, do I feel cool. Cosplay. Okay, so why are we pinning this? I'm pinning this so that when I put it in the machine and sew it, it will stay where I want it to be and it won't end up, you know, I don't want the edges like coming up like, oh, it didn't, okay. yeah. Uh, but, you, but you have to remove the pins as you Yeah, sew. as I sew, I'll pull the pins out. Okay. <laughs> so I, what if you're just not fast enough? Sure, I have no, no idea. I'm, well, I control the speed. Oh, boy. You uh, say so. But this will also let me see what the final product would be, which, you know, oh. it's on a bag, so it's not <laughs> We can thrilling. imagine. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. I see. As I'm watching you do this, I've already got in my mind. I'm like, okay, so I could make, I could totally make the X or Y. I, I'm actually, I'm really big into the Expanse right now, and I've yeah. been dying to make one of the Martian uh, space uh, vac suits. Uh huh. But it required you Ooh. have to tailor that thing because I, yeah. I can 3D part print like the armor, right? But the underlying layer, it's just really well made and then stitching. Stitching like 3D printed stuff, the fabric is probably. I well, you <laughs> probably have, have to, to use like Ninja Flex material because you can't. I don't see fabric bonding to like PLA. It's yeah. what, what a lot well. of people do when they're doing something hard on fabric is you get the Velcro. Okay. Yeah. But don't use this Velcro. Why? Because this is the sticky back, and I've made the mistake. When you sew this, you gunk up your machine, oh, the needle right. gets all sticky, oh. and you have to replace the needle. You can't get that stuff off. Oh, okay, so get a Velcro that doesn't have any adhesive. Yeah, okay. and this adhesive is terrible anyway, so even on the 
3D Even printed on, thing? No, that you want to use super glue or something epoxy. I'm wondering, can I, is there some sort of pattern I could leave in a PLA printed 3D piece that would like lend itself to being sewn into? Mm. I don't know. Nah, we'll see. And since I'm doing this bag inside out, right? so the seams will be in the inside, I'm just going to fold down the top edge so you can on make itself a nice, clean so seam. I can have a nice Whoa. clean edge there. And even though my I, it was kind of a rough cut, because I'm folding it, we'll get you a nice straight cut. edge. So I'll fold that there. And I'm only doing it to one side. I'm yeah, not doing it all the way through. Yeah, question about that. So when I'm, when I'm cutting from material that I, I've already used, do I care about straight edges on the material, or I'm just assume I'm going to make all the edges in the, uh, in the final product? Yeah, what you cut is probably going to be hidden, whether okay. you've hidden the seam, you've done a finished seam, or you just fold it over like this. You'll, you'll want to do an edge like that, okay. so it's you know, somewhat decent looking. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, there we go. And we can get... Oh, we got to do the other side too, right? Yeah, I'll do the other side. But and then I'll get the machine up, and we can finish it off. You know, Brian, Very maybe cool. this year we have to do proper Halloween costumes. <laughs> I just stole your collar this year, yeah, and then wore like a jacket with it. Wait, isn't that the collar that you also put on Tibbs? Yeah, so, you gave it to me a long time ago. Well, you, you want the sad story behind that? Wasn't it your first one? Or that something? wasn't my first one, oh. but that was a collar that I wore like. 20 years ago. Wow. Man. It fits me perfectly. It's exactly. So yeah. now it fits you perfect. So <laughs> I use, and that used to be big on me. So I used to be smaller than you. I've seen pictures. Just you're you're FYI, little. FYI. Yeah. FYI. It, it's going to happen to you. Oh boy. <laughs> so they, <laughs> that's the curse of the collar, right? It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> All right. All right. So we've got, we've got our bag pinned out. Um, is the next step just to sew? Yeah. Next cool. Step, we can get the machine back Let's here. Okay, it. now so th now, this was this again. This was easy because it was straight. Yeah. If If you were doing a curve, would you do the same thing? Would you like pin along the curve? Uh, like at the bottom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have to you know have it cut down there and hmm. pin along that. Uh, but it would kind of be a flat bag with a rounded bottom. It wouldn't be three dimensionally round like bowling right. ball. It wouldn't hold the bowling ball like even. Uh, nice and cleanly because you'd need to do maybe four parts hmm. split it up uh, yeah round stuff is harder okay but yeah. well let's get to it we're gonna be sewing in just a second but first these messages previously on twit might look like i was on vacation on my face no that is vr goggles it's like maybe a little sunburn <laughs> but no it's yeah. just Maybe you need nerd to loosen. Burn. Yeah, nerd, 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 nerd burn. Need to loosen nerd. the straps, I think, a little bit. Triangulation. We're talking with Cory Doctorow, his newest book, Walk Away. A lot of it is about what happens when people who have very strong political beliefs start to compromise on them and how compromise can slide you from, you know, don't be evil to surveillance capitalism in a bunch of very small steps. Security now. This is a bad idea. Uh-oh. MasterCard unveils next generation biometric card. But a thumbprint is not exact. Yes, it's better than nothing. But if we look at the technology that had to be employed, it is. it doesn't mean that this is cryptographically secure. Know how. We're making a Raspberry Pi elect. Tell me about the weather. In Santa Rosa, there's a flood warning in effect until Friday. We're going to be using the uh, Amazon yes. trigger word a lot. So when you hear bleeps, it's, it's us saying a le not us saying <laughs> This is your brain. This is your brain on Twit. Any questions? Welcome back. We're here with Patrick Delahanty. Patrick, you've got your bag pinned out. Well, this is the, bag. the easiest example that we can make. Yeah. So show us how you're going to go from this pinned out piece of fabric to an actual sewn together stitched bag. All right. Well, we've got to get the machine. Uh, this is all set. I've got the pins and everything. So we've got to get the machine set up to go. All right. Let's go. So the first thing is I need the bobbin to have the same thread on this little bobbin spool as on the on this main spool. Now this is just a, a way for you to redirect the thread. So it's going yeah. straight out so and I've, straight over. I've put it through here and uh, actually I put it through the wrong one. <laughs> Are there different kinds of thread that you would use for different 
I mean, obviously different colors, but are there different types of thread, like nylon or yeah, yeah, cotton? I don't know. Yeah, I or any I more usually stick with standard thread, but there are thread. different kinds, and uh, hmm. you can pick. I usually just try to pick the one that has the color closest to whatever Where you want. I'm, I'm sewing. So this is a nice gray one that's pretty close to silk thread. Yeah. For the, the sexiest making. All right, so I put the thread through the little <laughs> hole in the bobbin here, and I'll put it on the side, turn this thing on, Ooh. and... Uh, so oh, you're just now you're just winding the bobbin. Yep, I'm just winding. <laughs> oh. Whoa. That's fast. Whoa. And so you can see the little bobbin here. It's getting more and more thread on it. It should be enough for the bag. I had no idea that that's what that did. I always yeah. just thought it was... Switch it off, and I will cut. Okay. Besides, I like the name Bobbin. 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 Hello, Bobbin. So, oops. Oh, oh no. no! Party foul! So what happens when you do that? Do it again? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you go fast. No, it, yeah, it got looped around the bottom by mistake. Uh, I think I can just cut that part off. It'll be fine. You can edit that out. <laughs> Ladies oh, and no, gentlemen, we're not gonna edit through the, the magic of editing, this is all going to be left in. Yeah. <laughs> because ain't no way Brian's right. going to cut that out. Uh, that so way. now uh, I have to put the bobbin down in this bobbin holder. And, and then immediately sew so your That's finger it. So to now the that the bobbin's set, set. It's bobbin's in there. I'll oh, put the okay. cover on. Done. Bobbin. It's in there. Wow. Now I the that was going to be a lot more painful. This is the painful part. I have to thread the machine. So I can go here so you can see more. Um, maybe. It's going to get intense. There we okay, go. There we go. Uh, so it, it actually has little arrows on here telling me the order. So it goes around this, down here, Two, back three, up, up, and then... It's got to grab it and then pull it down yeah, for you. Come on, where is it? Grabs that. It's like some kind of torture device. Back down here. That's what I thought around. It went through my finger. Ah! <laughs> the best part was and this part. I was sewn into the fabric. Right. So what do you like, <laughs> Mom? I was like, Mom. <laughs> and now I have to get it. And then she hit me for using her sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> in the needle. Wow. There's a there's a surprising amount of childhood trauma that goes along mm -hmm. with this project. Yeah. Wow. Right. It's <laughs> bringing up some <laughs> memories. Come on. You got this. This Patrick. part I do remember because yeah. my mom always made me do this for her. <laughs> she couldn't. She couldn't see it anymore. She's like, yeah. I don't know where it is. No, actually, I used to do that with my grandma because she would do needlepoint. Okay. She did like paint, like not paintings, but she would take an image and do needlepoint, and I'd have to help. Her. Now, the one thing that that uh, the internet connected sewing machine that they wanted us to review, well, yeah. the one thing it did do automatically was it did all this, so it would do all the threading for you. Uh, uh, I want it. Yeah, it was seven hundred oh, dollars. <laughs> Put it in here and make it come up back. And, I mean, right. the only reason why it was internet connected was because you could download patterns. It's like, oh, okay. How many? Oh, well, you can. 20, 50,000 patterns. SD card, yeah. All yeah. right. All right, so this is primed. This is ready to go. Primed and ready to go. So I'm going to start down here at the seam. Okay. Because if I start at the top, if I have any extra fabric, it's just going to. Right. So out, yeah, if you go this out. way, it'll last. Yeah, any extra fabric, it'll even out. That makes sense. Okay, so you have to pull the pins as you go, or? <laughs> it sounds like yep. a grenade. I'll pull the pins. Uh, I want to start as close to that fold as I can. I'll pull the first Keep one out. Away from your do you hear a ticking noise? I do. <laughs> oh, the f his fingers are going to get sewn in. This is where you would use a pin cushion to put the pins, but I'm just going to put it in my pin box here. Yeah, Brian, we all like pin cushions. Yeah. yeah we, uh, I don't who have does a pin it? cushion. I just keep them in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Hold on to this piece of fabric because if I don't, it'll just get loose and hold on to your fabric. Oh boy. Oh. oh. So oh. this is you pressing the foot pedal. Yep, and I can hit the reverse and make it go back to make a nice. Let's make it exciting, Patrick. Allow me to have the foot All pedal. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Another you pin. know what? That goes a lot faster Ooh. than I could do it with just a thread and needle. Yeah. So now you're pulling it through. Well, I'm just making it, Keep it straight. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, just so guiding you're letting it. The, the, I'm not actually pulling you're it. You're letting the doge feet uh, pull it through. Or ah, doge, doge feet. feet. Do you know what it calls? Yeah. The dog the, feeders or dog? Sure, the doge, doge feeder. Doge feet. yeah. I'm staying along my 
not so straight line. Feed yeah. dogs. Feed dogs, yes. <laughs> <laughs> pull this last pin over here out. Now I may have, the pins I've got going across are a little close. So. All right. And go backwards. And that's just forward. so that you can make yeah, that. Because so that, kind of that's where all the stress is going to be. Yeah, kind of making a little knot. So now I've manually pulled the needle up. I'll do that to pull the foot up. Okay, and okay, I've been at this point. So at this point, I, you can't just cut the thread because otherwise it won't go right for the next one, right? You cut the thread. <gasps> That's it? You cut, the, you notice there were two threads. One's right. coming out of the bobbin. Yeah. The other one comes out of the needle. Yeah, okay. So what, what, now that I have this, can I just leave that there or do I have to do anything to it? No, we'll leave that there for the next okay. seam. Okay. So I'll just go to the other side here. Uh, now. <laughs> For this, I made, <laughs> I made the mistake. I've got the needles on ah. <laughs> this side, ah. but the machine is, yeah. is on the other. So it makes it, I either have to go through and put it all through this tiny side here, or I have to flip it over and pull the needles out from the bottom. I, you know, I think for your pendants, you should do it the hard way. I think both are the hardware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'll do the pull them from the bottom. This is what you get for making mistakes on know-how. We yeah. don't make the, mistakes. This is ever. this is what I get when I'm trying to do something quick for the purposes of know-how, <laughs> which is why uh, we never make mistakes on know-how. Sounds like All an right. excuse, Patrick. Our live demos never go wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I'm holding. It's hard to see, but I'm holding both the bobbin and the main. Thread. Just to keep it out of the way. Yeah, and to keep it kind of tight. Okay. Because if I don't, it's just going to come loose it. and it, okay. it'll make a mess. Okay. So we'll start it off slow. slow. Ah. And then I'll go backwards to kind of knot up that end and lock it off. Hey, Brian, step on the pedal. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, what are you doing? Oh, Brian, stop. No. I'm oh, my sorry, God. Patrick. <laughs> that was I fun. regret nothing. And I'll pull that needle out. <laughs> and I'll pull this needle out, which already went under a little bit. That's this okay. part really does appeal to me. <laughs> yeah. Just so I can hear that noise. Yeah. That's a f and it's nice seeing the progress as I go along. It's like, yeah. oh, that's already done. Nice. And the problem is at some point I'd have to have the grand reveal of what I made, and I'd go, oh. 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 All right. Oh. You just wanted to just sew. Yeah. You don't care what you make. That side seam is done, so I'll do the same thing. Cut this. All right, now how do I do this? Because I've, I've got, you've got this weird yeah. opening stitch. Yeah, and I can't just sew it here because no. I'd end up sewing. <laughs> <'Cause> I think, <laughs> it wouldn't be a bag. It would be a pillow. <laughs> uh, An empty you, pillow. Yeah, <laughs> <The worst laughs> yeah pillow it a pillow. A little stuffing. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to pull it. And do it. Okay, I, I see. Uh, yeah, okay. so this could be a little tricky, but I also might be able to do it with one stitch going all the way around. So oh, oh. that's uh, pro level achievement now since, unlocked. Since I've uh, already sewn these sides, I could actually cut off the excess. I don't want to cut too close to the seam, right? Because mm -hmm. that'll cause problems. But I've got a lot of excess here, so we can clean this up, and that'll actually help when I do the top. Cause so just stay away. Don't cut through the stitch, because if you do, you, that's a dead that, stitch. Yeah, you've got to <laughs> do it all over. Uh, so I'm just going to clean this up so the top ends up coming out a little better. Should we bring a sewing machine to DEF CON? What would you do with a sewing uh, machine? If we were going to sew like uh, LEDs into something. Yeah. You know? like well, if you're doing that, you might be able to just hand sew a few spots. You That's don't really true. need... Well, you kind of see, the hardware hacking village at DEF CON is not just for quote unquote hardware. It's really for anyone who wants to make stuff. Yeah, definitely. Or take all your LEDs. All right. We're so, I'm still bitter about <laughs> that. <laughs> so now I've got these edges. Not as much loose fabric on the end. They're right. A lot cleaner so mm -hmm. that uh, when we do put this inside out, there won't be a lot of extra crap in the middle of the bag. All right, now let's do this edge here. Now I'm we'll looking forward to putting your bag to the test. Okay. I'm going to put my switch yeah. in there. All right. See what yes, <laughs> we'll do this. Well, I, um, Patrick doesn't have anything to now, do. Swing it around. When you're doing, mm -hmm. Look at the stitching. When uh. you're doing sleeves or something, you might want to put it around the machine, but maybe it's too big here. 
What? You just take that off. Oh, and now it's a lot smaller. It's a transformer. It just transformed what? into something that can handle. Now, I've heard of double stitching. Is that just going back over the same line with another pass? or? Uh, as I understand it, yes. Okay. <laughs> And then at the end, can we stitch this onto either side and make it a little... Sure. Wow. So okay. let's make the nice bag and put the raggedy piece of material on it. Is that what you want? Nice bag? This is, hey, <laughs> no, he, he hasn't turned it inside out yet. You have no idea what it looks like. That's yeah. true. All right. <laughs> this shouldn't take much longer. So you're going to try to go all the way around? I'm going to try to go all the way around. Some and essentially, thing. this is kind of like doing a sleeve. <laughs> I'm very focused on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep seeing the fingers next to the needle. Why do you think I'm leaning back? I'm like, I don't want to be near that thing. It now, hurt me. When you're sewing um, heavier fabrics, you may need to make some adjustments to the machine because like when you're doing pleather, or actual leather or fleece, it's bigger, thicker fabrics. Or when you're doing denim and you have to get to the crotch where it's very thick, yeah, right. uh, there's a tension arm that helps you control the tension of the thread. Uh, you can also adjust to the height. Uh, so there are more challenging things. It's not than just putting the material in yeah, the push. You actually fabric. have to think about what you're going to be yeah. making. And also when you're thinking about the fabric you're picking out, if you're doing pants, you probably want something opaque so they can't all see your underwear through it, but... It says you. Yeah. Well, it depends, <laughs> what you're, it depends what you're making. That was all... I, like I if didn't you're making a thong, that's not, no, okay. <laughs> no, I just went all the way around without doing... Uh, I make my own underwear. <laughs> <laughs> went all the way around without stopping to do the other side. Wow. And here we have it. It's an inside-out bag. Okay, no, so turn it, right it, oh, turn it right side up. See what it let's looks see. like. Wait, wait. Pull it inside out. What? That does look pretty good. Ta-da! Well, actually, we that's push out the looks corners. immensely better than anything I would have made, so... And, you know, just iron it, get these folds out of it. That's uh -huh. actually kind of cool. And we've got a bag for your Nintendo Switch or... I want a strap. Or a hat for Padre. There's excess thread we can cut off, but... No, I, I kind of like it there. He likes okay. extra thread. It's like yeah, TV's it's Frank's curl. So, like, uh, folks, if you like this project, it means that you're a maker and uh, you should be happy for the fact that you like creative. Hold on. <laughs> it's right in my eyes. <laughs> That's much better. So this is, yeah, this is my finished bag. This, if you hadn't been explaining it, it would have taken you all of five minutes to make this thing. Yeah, and I would have had more precise measurements, but, you know. So what, what are the, the more difficult things that people need to watch for? As, as they're thinking about something they're going to make, of course, they, need, they should start with something simple, like a bag, just to get their technique down. But yeah. what has been the most challenging thing that you've done when you've made a costume? Uh, so, some challenging stuff, some mis mistakes I've made are not getting enough fabric. Okay. Uh, and so it's great to do a pattern. Being cheap on the fabric going, I only need two yards. Yeah, and well, when it's expensive, you don't want to get too right. much. Uh, and so now I've learned, okay, get the muslin first, make it out of that, and then I can figure out how much I actually need and buy that. I've actually had the situation where I was making something, ran out, went back, they didn't have any more. I had to go to a different store and see if they had that. It took like four stores before I found more of the same color, mm. same material. Um, and also the, another challenging part is just all those curves and and trying to find a pattern that works. And I've actually taken old jeans or old shirts and pulled them apart to use them as okay. patterns, which is great because I know it fits me. Like an old pair of pants that's got a hole in the knee, I don't need that anymore, so I cut it apart. And actually, that does make sense. Like mm. if you're going to be making a costume, why not start with something you know fits? Yeah, right. That's your pattern, and then you can add stuff onto it to make it look more like the character. Right. But you do have to like take it apart, right, to get the... Because you have to uh, lay it out flat. Yeah, I have done some stuff where I haven't taken it apart and I've laid it out flat, and that only works if you can lay it flat. Yeah. If there's some curves in it, or then it, you're going to have to cut it or yeah. make some approximations. Okay. I like this. This is Actually, Patrick, this is very nice. This is definitely something we're going to add to the know-how repertoire. So I'm... 
I'm gonna actually I can I can get that old machine. My mom still has that machine. She doesn't oh. sew anymore. So. Are you sure you can handle the trauma? I don't. <laughs> the re, the I think repressed memories that you have. This will be good for me, Brian. It'll be, it'll be like no, no, you're gonna do what I say now. But the, the thing about those old machines is they work great. I oh mean, yeah. You may have to hand do it if it's that old. But Patrick. No, I mean th she had a pedal. Oh. Hey. Sure, at least gonna be so happy. <laughs> what do you mean? This is for me. Oh, for you. And yeah. You. Well, watch out for the pins. Well. Yeah, just don't, oh. don't, don't, don't. Uh, this is a man bag, guys. Okay. You can tell. You can tell because at any point that bag might hurt you. Because it's got <laughs> pins in it. <laughs> yeah. The bag that bites back. Uh, Patrick, thank you so very much for this. It's always nice to get something that's a little bit different. I mean, we're really big into 3D printing. We're really big into, into you know, hardware yeah. and electronics. But cosplay is something I love to see, but I'm horrible at. I, 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 I want you to come back more often and show us your secrets. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know this is a sewing machine. People are like, why is that tech? Why is that on wit? But this is something people should know, whether it you're making a, a costume or you're fixing curtains. Oh, man. So do you think... Learn to use this. Do, do you think I paid enough no, attention no, to Patrick no, to be able to yes. sew it myself? Oh, my gosh. It couldn't be we're that gonna, hard. We're about to destroy the bag. No, no. All right, no, okay, no. well, oh, Patrick, scenes. don't don't give him oh any hints. God. Just let him see. Well, yeah, we'll let's we'll see. see what happens here. Okay, right. lining it up. This is... All right, and there's uh, the foot it, pedal. It actually, you want to put it here because it pushes done, back. Is I would have actually pushes back? So you want to start so inside out again. Oh, right, right. Inside that's... So I want the outside of the bag, but yeah, that's just me. Yeah, that is what, the outside What, the inside? Of the bag. Oh. You want to turn, <laughs> turn the bag inside out? <laughs> I'm just See thinking... See how, how well I, just, I listened? You, know, you probably want all, right, all the ugly stuff on the inside of the bag. It's an ugly strap. It's not going to... Ugly. It's the style now. It's the style, guys. It's basic. Isn't that, isn't that what the kids say? All right, fine. let me fleek. try this again. So on fleek, yeah. So, but I don't want to sew it the bag together. So you don't want to sew the bag. Yeah. So I gotta there put go. it around. Yeah. And then sh I guess I'll just go over the seam like that, kind of. Yeah. And, and just floor it, Brian. Just yeah, floor right. It. <clears throat> it can't be that sensitive. Now remember, it pushes back, so you want to start it over here. Right. Start nope. it like that. No, nope. that's. You're just gonna end up sewing that. Oh right. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting that concept? It's going away from me. Yes. Yes. It goes away. And then we're going to reenact what happened to Padre when he <laughs> sewed himself. I All right, have now you wanna, memories. You're going to push this down. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the loose thread here. Yeah. Wanna... I pull it over. Oh, right. It's got to be a little yeah, taut. Where's the other one? I don't know. I lost it. Oh, is it? The, no, that's part of my strap. I, I think you've, you've wiped it out with the uh, bottom of the bag there. Eh, well, we'll go Well, anyway. we'll just go we'll for go it, anyway. right? <laughs> All right, and then the pedal. Full speed, Brian. No way. Full speed. No. What? 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 You're doing it. You're doing it. Move I'm the sewing. doges. Doge feet. How do Doge you go feet. backwards now? This. Ah, button. And the, No, you press the, and hold it while you hit the pedal. Uh, different machines have different ways of doing it. Some have because I want this strap so. to be strong. So yeah, so you should do it like well, 15 you don't times back and forth. Oh god, my thumb's so close. All right, this, All right. and then yeah. this back will end in tears. Okay, so that's one strap. Yeah. Okay, you gotta and cut then, the thread. You gotta pull it well, away and cut the thread. Raise the foot. Raise the foot. And then we can just oh, you oh. Gotta move and the then, needle so it's up. Whoop. Then we can just pull it out. Yeah. Padre, I'm making. You are, Look. You are, yes, that is made. We'll it's cut, so made. We'll cut this off. Thank you. <laughs> See, Patrick, you did such a good job teaching me. Now I know how to do it. We can wrap up the show and I'll do the other side. All right. Patrick, if you could tell the folks at home where they can find you. You do a several uh, oh, interesting yeah, tidbits <laughs> outside of Twit. Which yeah, one do you want to show off? Uh, well, I mean, we're talking about cosplay and conventions, so... I think the place people should head is to fancons.com. I have a website that lists every convention that I know of and that other people have told me about. And so if you're looking for a convention near you, fancons.com, there's literally a convention every weekend somewhere in the world, even Christmas weekend. You just got back from Boston for... Uh, for yeah, I was at Anime, Anime Boston. Con, yeah. I founded that convention uh, nice. 15 years ago. Oh, and now it's got over 25,000 people. That's I also awesome. understand that you have, uh, you have a website dedicated entirely to chips. Yes, what? I do have chips-tv.com. <laughs> I understand they have a restraining order against no, you. No, they do not. <laughs> but, yeah, I have a chips website, and I have a movie review. Spoiler alert, it's terrible. 
Aw, the motorcycle scenes were uh, kind But cool. yeah, on April 1st, I posted a clip from my appearance on CNET. Actually, I didn't appear. My website appeared on CNET in Aww. 1996. Aww. Wow. Uh, and the clip also has uh, Ryan Seacrest. Oh, uh, what? A very young That's, Ryan Seacrest. Is, is that good? Why? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Patrick, thank you again. Now, you're going to be on next week. What are you going to be showing us? Uh, we're going to do some molding of gems. Oh, okay. Gonna, this is we're nice. going to make some little prop shinies. Oh, so a little bit of costuming, a little bit of gemming. Yeah. This, this is what you yeah, need. So th this you're going to be, be making your Infinity Wars costume. Yeah, nice. if you want to make a gauntlet, if you want to do Thanos, you can make all the gems, and that'll be great. Now, Patrick, Patrick Delahunty, again, thank you very much. Uh, you are a natural part of know how. Hey, I'm now, on the board. Yeah, you're on the board. <laughs> Folks, if, if you do want to find out more about Know How, more about our episodes, more about the show notes for this particular episode, what you need to do is to go to our show notes page. Brian, where are they going to find that? Oh, they can find them at twit.tv slash kh. And uh, like Padre said, you'll find everything that we mentioned. Uh, and also, you should go there so you can download the episode, subscribe so you don't miss an episode, because we will be doing more of these uh, sewing cosplay episodes, and you're not going to want to miss it. Indeed. And don't forget that we've got a presence on the socials. Just go to Google Plus and look for Know How. Once you apply, it'll take just a few moments for you to get an approval. And once you're in, you get access to almost 11,000 Kitas. That's our know-it-alls, people who can answer your questions, people who maybe you can help out with the project, and always where you can show us videos, pictures of what you've built so we can put them on the show. Again, go to Google Plus and look for Know How. And if you want to see what we're doing when we're not on Know How, you're going to want to follow us on Twitter. I am at Cranky underscore Hippo. And you're going to find me at Padre SJ. And Patrick, where did they find you? At P. Delahanty. Yeah, And there's a, another member of our crew, longtime mm -hmm. member. He, we couldn't do this show without him. He's, he's our director. Director. He pushes all our buttons. His name. <laughs> do this, Patrick. I create art. His name is Creator. Yes. We, we call him Creator. And uh, <laughs> you can find him at twitter.com slash A-N-E-L-F-3. We do have fun, don't we? We do, indeed. <laughs> Until next time, I am Father Robert Ballas here. And I'm Brian Burnett. I'm Patrick Delahanty. And now that you so how. Make it so. Can I use the joke again? Engage. Ah, check out this sweet. It's a little <laughs> short. Watch your mic, it, Brian. It works. Walk away. Walk tall, Brian. Wow. Walk wow, tall. Dude. Wow. <laughs> wow, bro.